Good morning and welcome to St. George's Memorial with the incumbent. Judy Heron Graham. And I am the Reverend Dean Martin. I'm at St. Matthew's Oshawa and together we are Durham, Durham Region, Region in, in Faith. Faith. And now we're coming up to the season of Lent here in the Anglican Church and some other uh, churches as well. And Judy, let's take a moment real quick. Mm -hmm. What is Lent? Real quick. Real quick. Lent is the 40 days leading up to Easter, not including the Sundays, not including which Sundays. are always feast days. They're the holy built-in cheat days. If you want to think of it yeah, that way. they're holy built-in okay. cheat days. The days when the church has historically uh, looked back to the time when baptisms happened once a year on Easter Eve. So baptisms once a year. And this is the season to do the preparation To do the for preparation. Yep. And everyone was baptized on Easter Eve and so as adults and so remembered their baptism. And so in solidarity and support of the new baptizans who were about to become new Christians, they uh, spent that time in reflection on their own life, their own spirituality, right. where they may have sinned and need to repent. They looked at the baptismal promises that they had made in their baptism and how well they were keeping them and how they could keep them better. So it's a time of solemn penitence and preparation that we can celebrate all the more joyously on Easter. So, yeah, there's a lot of big words in there and I'm trying to wrap my brain into that. You're Sorry. far smarter than me. Mm. Um, it's kind of like uh, watching a trilogy and Lent is the first two and a half movies. And then Easter it's the climax of is it all. the climax of the whole thing. You, get, you, can, you can just watch the last movie or the climax mm -hmm. of, the, of the whole series, but mm -hmm. you get so much more out of it with the season of Lent or the other two. Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of how yeah. we approach Lent, right? A good Lent leads to a good Easter. And with that in mind, let's prepare to worship. It is the season of Lent, so we begin today with the penitential rite, which is found on page 45 of the Book of Alternative Services. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dear people of God, as we prepare to worship Almighty God, let us with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Together we say, Most, Most merciful God, we confess, confess that, that we have sinned, sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry. And, and we, we humbly, humbly repent. repent. For, For the, the sake, sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, Christ have mercy on us and forgive us, that, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you and keep you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make, make haste, haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and, and to, to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The invitatory sentence for Lent. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O, o come, come, let us, let us worship. worship. Psalm number 63 can be found on page 783. We'll re, uh, say this responsively by the full verse. O God, you are my God. Eagerly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you. As in a barren and dry land where there is no water. Therefore I have gazed upon you in your holy place that I might behold your power and your glory. For your loving kindness is better than life itself. My lips shall give you praise. So will I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands in your name. My soul is content as with marrow and fatness. 
and my mouth praises you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate upon you in the night watches. For you have been my helper and under the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Oh, come, let us, let us worship. worship. Let us pray. Let us pray. Most merciful God, by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you created humanity anew. May the power of his victorious cross transform those who turn in faith to him who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The word of the Lord. Lent five, Ian, fifth Sunday, Palm Lent. Sunday next week. Yep, yep, Palm Sunday next week. And, and this week we have um, hair and smelly oil. Not just smelly, beautiful, expensive, perfumed oil with the scent that lingers for days. That sounds smelly to me. Well, think of chrism. <laughs> you, do you know how you baptize a yeah. baby and you can smell, yeah. or a, an adult for that matter, yeah. at, in, in the morning and your nostrils are still full of it at supper time? That's what we're talking about. Right. Lingering, expensive perfume that lasts. And she put into her hair. Well, she put I'm, it on okay. Jesus' feet. She put it, okay. So let's just take the image for a second. I mean, I'm sure there are people who love having their feet touched, but feet are generally gross, especially if they're in the air dry desert. And someone's taken their hair, mm -hmm. which to me is like, okay, I mean, I clearly have no You reference. have no, con I no, have no you reference. can't relate to this uh, well, at all. Well, I do, but it's under here and it's not mm -hmm. good enough. But, no. and she takes her hair and where I'm imagining long hair mm -hmm. and what using that as a towel. So now her yeah. hair smell like the other person's feet and the oil. And, and no, the, and the but it smells like the oil. It smells like the beautiful, expensive, scented oil. And as Jill pointed out, our photographer behind the screen there, right. um, before we started filming, she said, she said that scent is going to linger on her hair for days she's going to smell it and it'll brush when your hair if your if her hair's down and her hair moves right. it's going to remind her of that moment with Jesus for quite a while to come so it's a gift it's a gift it's a gift Absolutely. to Jesus that mm -hmm. sticks with her an expensive gift 300 denarii right. Right? right expensive gift like a year's a year's salary and then we have an objection to the gift yeah, from I mean, Judas. The yeah. essence mm -hmm. of a gift is giving you give without and expect the nothing expectation return. of receiving anything. And otherwise, it's a transaction. Mm -hmm. So Martha's gift is... Mary's gift. Mary, sorry. Mary's gift is expensive perfume that lingers with mm -hmm. her and anoints... Jesus for his burial, and Jesus knows that Mary gets it, that he's going to die. And Judas Iscariot... Because this is six days before the Passover, and it's at right. the Passover that Jesus is arrested and crucified. With Judas Iscariot turning him in, the mm -hmm. money manager, who yeah. we're told now has been stealing from the disciples. Mm -hmm. So his, he's looking at this not just as a waste of money, but also at the tra there's a transaction happening here, not a gift. Yeah. He misses the whole point. This is from the heart. Mm-hmm. 
doing something to, for the Lord, something meager but also And amazing. he's followed the Lord for three years and, and doesn't get what Mary does. And it's, you know, it's all about the money. We have to do this. And by the way, I'm going to keep some for myself. And don't I worry mean, about we, we, can, we continue to have that kind of argument in the church, right? If right. somebody has got $100,000, do you use it to beautify the church? Or does it, is it an outreach project? Right? I mean, we, we, we wrestle with, with that con continually. And that's a stewardship conversation. But I don't sure think that's... Honoring the yeah, gift. Yes. It, and it's all, about, gift. it's all about the gift. And that's what um, the point that you were making that I had never considered before, that for, for Judas, it's a transaction. Yeah. And, and that's why and, he's upset. And, you know, he goes out later and 30 pieces of silver and Jesus is, is done for. Which is also a piece going Of forward. transaction. So I think leading into Easter and Palm mm -hmm. Sunday is I, I know in our modern world when every time someone does something as a gift that's generous mm -hmm. the immediate response afterwards is they must be getting something out of it from someone or it's not just or, a gift they want they're getting it's a bribe or, there's some, there's or some why didn't they do something else instead yep there's a mm -hmm. critique and a skepticism instead of just looking at the amazing gift that was given and saying wow i appreciate this because god clearly does jesus clearly appreciates the gift and advocates for her in that mm -hmm. space too and the same way he honors the gifts that we give him whether it's time money Spending time with God in prayer, spending time serving others in his name. Even if it feels like those gifts are going and you don't see the end results that you desire, that's mm -hmm. what changes the gift ah, but of no, giving to yes. transaction. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to give without expectation Ex and to trust that God is going to act and give to you, you because he loves you, not because of what we've done or could do or who we are, just because he loves us. Thanks be to God. Amen. continue our worship with the affirmation of faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed, found on page 52. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, our Lord. Lord. He, he was conceived, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit 
and and born of the Virgin Mary. Mary. He He suffered suffered under under Pontius Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, crucified, died, died, and and was was buried. He He descended to the dead. dead. On On the the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our form for prayers will be the Litany for Lent on page 121. With confidence and trust, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the one holy Catholic and apostolic church throughout the world, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have have mercy. mercy. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those preparing for baptism, and for their teachers and sponsors, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have have mercy. mercy. For peace in the world, that a spirit of respect and reconciliation may grow among nations and peoples, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer, for refugees, prisoners, and all in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, have have mercy. mercy. For all whom we have injured or offended, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For grace to amend our lives and to further the reign of God, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have have mercy. mercy. Almighty and everlasting God, you despise nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our brokenness, may obtain of you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your your name. Your Your kingdom kingdom come, come. your Your will be done done on earth as as in heaven. heaven. Give Give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive forgive those who sin against against us. us. Save us from from the time of trial and deliver us from from evil. For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace enable us to do his will in every kind of goodness, working in us what pleases him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. See you next week. Yeah.